getting yourself into a nice, comfortable, relaxing position. Ideally with your legs crossed, sitting upright, with your spine erect, allowing that energy to channel through you. Moving straight into the breath, drawing energy in, building that heat, building that pressure and tension so that we can relax so much easier. Just allowing yourself to go into that breath now. Remembering that your diaphragm goes out as you breathe in and comes back towards your spine as you breathe out, keeping that breath going perfectly. Fully in, hold, and breathe out, and hold. Holding that breath for as long as you can. Stepping outside of what's comfortable. Becoming someone new. Because when you can't hold that breath any longer, take a deep breath in and squeeze your perineum, your lower abdominals and your upper abdominals, following that energy all the way up to the top of your head, away from survival, into thrival, creation. Squeezing those muscles, concentrating that energy, and when you can't hold it any longer, and let it all go. As we move into the second round and final round of breath. same again, every in breath the stomach goes out, and every out breath the stomach comes back in, you're doing a great job. Fully in, breathe it out and hold. Notice the energy building up around every inch, muscle, nerve and fiber of your body. you'll notice that you can hold your breath without oxygen for that much longer right now. The heat may be there, the discomfort may be around, that's perfectly normal. And I want you to try and hold this for as long as possible. when you can't hold it any longer, through your nose, taking in the deepest, most healing breath, squeezing your perineum, lower abdominals, your upper abdominals, 
following that energy to the crown of your head. Squeezing those muscles, feeling that pressure, because when you let go, you'll go so deep, deeper towards that theta state. So completely relax now. If you haven't already, in a moment or so, just let it all go. Feel wonderful, making sure your hands are on your lap or next to you facing down. This is the grounding position, grounding your energy, clearing your mind so that you can find a whole new way to be. As your mind relaxes now, can you find a deeper, more soothing place of complete serenity? Focusing on that breath, named the Ujjayi breath. If your mind wanders, bring it straight back making that noise constantly throughout. If your mind wanders for a long period of time, don't worry as I'll bring you back and remind you to focus. Back to the breath, in and out. more you focus on this breath, the easier this process will become. As your mind clears, your mind wanders and then comes straight back to the breath, doesn't it? The more you focus on this breath, the easier you'll find yourself completely relaxing now. Where does your mind go in and out? of consciousness, as if you're in a daydream, and then you're back, and then back to the daydream again. You're doing perfect, you're doing just as you should, listening to the sound of my voice, allowing my voice to send you, to take you on a trip, a wonderful, mystical trip into the unknown. And the unknown is a wonderful place, a place of possibility, a place of opportunity, a place of growth, of healing. And if you're not focusing back straight to your breath, Reminding yourself to make the noise of the Ujjayi breath, noticing what happens after every breath you take. I'm here to guide you safely, 
calmly and magically in to the unknown, a place of creation. Because you can manifest the perfect life despite a painful past. As a broken past can lead to the most beautiful future. As you do this work, as you learn the knowledge, you'll notice your ability starting to improve and grow. As I say, expect miracles, but showing up today is doing the work, and that's where miracles come from, consistently showing up, and just allowing yourself now to rotate your hands into the receiving position. All that energy that you've grounded yourself with, it's now time to let in the wonders, the miracles, the beauty that life has to offer. Whether your hands are on your lap or they're next to you on a chair, on a surface, it doesn't matter as long as they're just facing up. Now the mind is very clear. You can begin to create a new self. Who is it that you want to become? How do you want to act on a daily basis? How do you want to feel? What do you want to feel? What do you want to think? Getting clear on who you become and who you're becoming is so important to understand. Because once you're clear on who it is that you want to be, how you want to feel, how you want to act, walk, talk. You can then eventually move on to the next step of doing this so many times in your mind, still focusing on that breath throughout the whole process. That when you do this so many times, your mind believes this is you, this is you, now. Really just imagining yourself, how you'd want to be described by other people, to other people. If someone was to write a sentence, a paragraph about you, how would they want to speak of you? How would you want to be spoken of? Are you kind? Are you caring? Are you warm? Are you inviting? Are you happy? Are you confident? Are you fulfilled? Are you living a purpose-led life? Are you driven? Are you motivated? Are you peaceful? There's no one right answer. This is your choice. This is you at the end of the day. Even as silly down to the walk that you do, the hairstyle you have, the friends, the people, the job. Because when you bring yourself 
back to the breath and out you can move on to the next step of really seeing yourself through your own eyes how is it now being your new self looking down at your hands looking at your arms the clothes you're wearing maybe walking to a mirror and seeing yourself and this may not be as vivid the first time you do this just imagining this new version of you how do you walk how do you talk do you stand confidently with your shoulders rolled back, breathing deeply? Do you see yourself living more purposefully? Happier? With a smile on your face? Standing tall, being bold, living as the true you because as you walk through your new life as your new self really feel the emotions that you chose to feel happiness confidence you can feel it now can't you Still reminding yourself to go back to the breath, keeping that breath going as often as possible. This will become second nature.
just thanking yourself, showing that gratitude, really feeling that gratitude, saying thank you for yourself for showing up today to create your new life, be grateful, say thank you. I don't know for you, but for me, gratitude really feels like shivers all over my body. You may be feeling that now, tingles, shivers, sensations. That's the only way I can explain it, but it feels so good. Feeling that gratitude, that love, that love for yourself, that love for you, who you truly are, who you were made to be. Because gratitude is the most magnetic state of mind, drawing this future to you. And as you sit here, focusing still on that Ujjayi breath in and out, continuing to focus on that breath as you stay in this grateful state. in a moment we're going to be really moving into the mystical, the magical, leaving our old self behind, stepping into our true self today, because the more you do this, the easier it will become, and the easier it becomes, the more you choose to do this, and learn more. Focusing on that breath, feeling that gratitude, loving yourself, saying thank you. Because you've made it through 100% of the painful days. And it's about time that you'd receive the good. You can manifest your perfect life despite your painful past. You can create and feel the love, the gratitude, and the healing energy that's all around you, focusing on that breath, receiving the energy, feeling amazing. The more you feel it, the faster it happens. The faster it happens, the more you choose to show up. And it's as if this is your choice to show up every day, to create your future. It's not a chore. It's something you choose to do and you love to do. Because in the end, it creates the new you. That breath is healing. That breath is profound. And in a moment, you're going to dive deep into the mystical. Your mind is going to work on overdrive very coherently and allow you step outside of the old self and when you come back you'll be a new person still focusing on that breath Absolutely amazing. And as you take one cleansing deep breath in, raising your arms up by your side, above, above your head, receiving that energy, drawing your hands down and just squeezing those muscles, 
holding that breath, drawing your hands down over your chest, and squeezing those muscles as you begin to go into the mystical, the magical. The realm of possibility, the realm of creation. Feeling that energy. Because where you are, is it a crossroads? Where do you want to come back to? The old self or the true self? The choice is yours now. Stepping back into the new. Feeling amazing. Feeling incredible. Maybe that overwhelming sense of gratitude, love and joy and appreciation and peacefulness for life, for who you are. Maybe a tear comes to your eye of gratitude, of love, of self-love, of compassion, of warm healing energy, noticing what's different. And for as long as you need, just listening to the music, Allowing it to bring you back round to the true version of you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for doing the work. Let's create a movement. A cause for change, for healing, for helping, for learning, for growing. Let's do it together. Thank you for showing up.